Hey guys, I'm Alpha Lance with the Leaderboard, and this is everything you should know about Rainbow Six Siege's Operation Chimera. Hint, there will be blood, tears, and a zombie apocalypse. What more could you ask for? Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to become part of the notification squad to keep up to date with the Leaderboard. We've just entered year three for Rainbow Six Siege, and the game is seeing a lot of changes thanks to the Operation Chimera patch. The changes coming with the new patch include a new game mode called Outbreak, new cosmetics, weapons, two new operators, and even some gameplay balance changes. And of course, a new patch brings new game lore. So if you're super into the in-game reasoning behind every single Rainbow Six operator, we will definitely have some brand new info to share with you later on. But first, let's talk about some of the things you can actually sink your teeth into. Or fingers, I guess, rather. Operation Chimera just went live, meaning the content is brand new. If you have not gotten a chance to log into Rainbow Six Siege yet and check it out, fear not, because we have you covered. Outbreak. The biggest thing coming to Operation Chimera is the all-new gameplay mode called Outbreak, which is a three-man co-op mode that is somewhat similar to the Terrorist Hunt mode, but much more in-depth. It comes as a free add-on for all Siege players, so you will absolutely get a chance to play it. The idea of Outbreak is to tie into the fantasy spin of Operation Chimera by giving players more PvE, or player versus environment, content. Outbreak will have three-person teams take on a biohazard threat when a dangerous pathogen creates a widespread panic. Outbreak missions take place across three maps, which were designed specifically for co-op play. The resort, hospital, and junkyard maps will host Outbreak and set the stage for players to complete various objectives. Now, these aren't going to be a series of fetch quests or even something like Capture the Flag, because Rainbow Six is all about sharpshooting and taking advantage of your environment, meaning a lot of your objectives require precision and strategy. Outbreak also comes with five classes of zombified enemies you'll run into. The first up are the standard grunts, which you'll run into very often. These guys will fight in hordes and are strictly melee based, but if they swarm you, they can do a ton of damage. So best take them out from a distance before they have a chance to overwhelm you. They're pretty easy to kill, so that should be on the manageable scale. Breachers are the ones who look like they will explode because they absolutely will. They're agile and can deliver heavy damage, so best get away from them in their detonation range. Rooters, so named for their ability to drill crystal-like spikes through the ground and up into enemies, are a bit of a pain to fight. Best way to take them out is to strafe and shoot while you're moving to avoid being hit by a crystal root. The Hulk-like smashers are heavy hitters who are hard to kill, as they've got the ability to absorb all the bullets in their path, so these guys will require teamwork to take down and expose their weak point on their back. Meanwhile, the Apex Infected are the masterminds. They give the orders to drown you in waves of infected grunts and also hit you with projectiles that blind you, so you'll want to target these guys first, but they will be something of a challenge as befitting their name. You'll need to treat them like a boss fight, target them early, dodge what they throw at you, and burn them down. It's a little bit of an intricate dance to learn and the steps don't adhere to a pattern, but once you get the hang of taking on the Apex enemies, you can start having some real fun with Operation Chimera. One of the key elements of Outbreak is the fact that it is limited to 11 of Siege's 38 operators to give players the best balance. The two new operators, Lion and Finca, are among the 11, while Ying, Buck, Ash, Blaz, Smoke, Capcan, Doc, Tachanka, and your default recruit round out the rest of the roster. So there's a nice balance between offensive and defensive operators, which actually makes this something of a first for Siege. Most game modes in Rainbow Six Siege don't typically require offense and defense to work together, so this will be a unique situation of seeing Capcan and Glaz actually work together. Cosmetics. And because you want to make sure you look good while killing zombies, Rainbow Six Siege is getting a slew of new cosmetic options to tie into Outbreak's zombie apocalypse theme. These new cosmetics come in the new Outbreak packs, which work pretty much just like Alpha packs, but are randomized drops of the 50 new cosmetics available during Outbreak's four-week run. And if you log in during the Outbreak event, you'll get four of these packs for free. Unlike the Alpha packs, Outbreak packs are tied to real-world currency, as you have to purchase them for 300 R6 credits each. The Outbreaks pack come with some really cute parasite weapon charms, new weapon skins, decontamination uniforms, and isolation headgear, 
so you can really rock that hazmat horror vibe. In addition to the Outbreak packs, you can also snag some other cosmetic content, including a Sidewinder Elite skin for Ash, which is free for all Rainbow Six Siege players, and there's also the seasonal Rusty Trigger and Ancestral Southwest skins available for Renown or R6 credits. Operators. Operation Chimera comes with two brand new operators. To work with Outbreak Zombie Apocalypse theme, both operators are experts in biohazard threats and containment, and hail from the Chemical, Biological, Radiological, Nuclear Threat Unit, also referred to as the CBRN. However, unlike previous seasons, both Finca and Lion are attackers. If you've got a Year 3 pass, you'll get both operators today, and if not, you can purchase them for Renown or R6 credits starting on March 13th. Finca, real name Lara Melanikova, is a Russian microbiologist and immunologist who works with the Spetsnaz in handling hazardous materials. Her special ability is owed to her PhD thesis and hazmat suit. Finca gives all of her allies a nanite shot before the match starts, which remains dormant until she triggers Adrenal Surge, which disintegrates those nanites and delivers drugs which increase health and speed and reduce your recoil. If any allies are down, they will also be revived by Adrenal Surge, so while Finca is an attacker, she is also a supporter and a little bit of a healer. Before you get off thinking Adrenal Surge is a cheat, Ubisoft did consider the impact of an increased adrenal response when putting Finca in combat with Pulse and Smoke. Pulse's heartbeat sensor will pick up boosted teammates from farther away, and Smoke's toxic gas will do more damage while Adrenal Surge is active because of an increased heart rate and therefore faster breathing. So do make sure you chat with your teammates less you lead to a party wipe. Finca also comes with a Spear 308 rifle, SASG 12 shotgun, and a 6P41 light machine gun. You can also equip her with the PMM pistol and the GSH-18, like any other Spetsnaz operator. Our second operator is Lion, real name Olivier Flamont. He's a biohazard specialist within the French counterterrorism unit GIGN. Unlike Finca, Lion's major asset comes in the form of his EE-1D drone, which can lock down locations and track enemies. While Lion lets his drone loose, all enemy players get a notification, meaning this is not going to be a stealthy move. After a three second time, the entire map will be surveyed, with EE-1D tagging and tracking enemy players or NPCs for the use of Lion's allies. Opposing operators need to stand still during the scan to avoid showing up on EE-1D's map. That said, they can still look around and shoot during these three seconds, just as long as they don't move a single toe. Though keep in mind, Mute's jammers can counter the tracking, so if you're up against Lion, Mute is definitely an operator to have on hand. Lion can activate his drone three times per round. He's also kitted out with the new V-308 submachine gun and can take advantage of the 417 marksman rifle and the SG CQB as primaries. With the P9 pistol and LFP586 as secondary options. Along with the all new content, we also got a number of balance changes which will alter the way you approach Rainbow Six Siege. The first is that you can no longer walk on deployable shields, so no more moonwalking over shields, alright? The second an operator is registered as walking on a deployable shield, the shield will collapse on itself and be refunded to the inventory of the player who put it down, therefore penalizing the attackers who choose to use this exploit. So you can't utilize enemy shields as a way to attack from the high ground anymore. Another big change was made to melee hit validation, because we're all sick of our stealth melee kills not going through. Patch 3.1 of Siege has tweaked melee attack validation to make sure melee attacks are far more reliable this season than the last one. Ella is still getting nerfed for being too powerful, which helps explain why she isn't one of the characters available for Outbreak. Her loadout has been changed, so she'll have to start relying on her teammates much more often, which is great. She was far, far, far too OP before the patch. Let's just hope this tweak is enough otherwise we might not recognize her any longer. Meanwhile, Capcan is getting impact grenades instead of his barbed wires, and Blitz is getting a speed buff and becoming a two-speed, two-armor operator. My shield boy is a speedy boy now, and I couldn't be happier. Lore. Most of the lore involved in Operation Chimera deals with the Outbreak game mode. And of course, it has to do with zombies. The outbreak events have players contain a pandemic which picks up from the whole USSR space capsule crash in Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. That capsule contained an alien parasite which is essentially a zombie virus and thus Outbreak and its quarantines were born. Team Rainbow is tasked with containing the virus within the quarantined hot zone. So now we have the premise out of the way, let's get into the specifics. The Outbreak virus causes the infected to sprout crystal-like protrusions from their body, 
which will shift into one of five different types. Each type of infected has their own gameplay mechanics, which tie into their aesthetics, which basically means Outbreak comes with five new classes of enemies. Basically, different crystal formations mean different gameplay mechanics, and there's even in-game explanation for why certain people will become certain types of infected. Overall, Operation Chimera comes with some awesome content, and that means Rainbow Six Siege is kicking off year three of Siege content with a proper bang. We've got two new awesome attacking operators, both of whom are pretty heavy on support skills, but they are absolutely designed to take advantage of the new Outbreak mode. Finca is your go-to operator for party buffs, and she can put up a decent amount of damage with the brand new Spear 308 rifle. Lion, on the other hand, is the gadget guy. He's also pretty handy at getting your team intel, so bringing him along is a pretty good idea. Lion comes kitted out with the new V308 submachine gun, which is yet another point in his favor. Finca and Lion's loadouts can be customized, of course, with two primary and two secondary arms to choose from. However, the new Outbreak mode will also be around for the next four weeks, so if you're going to play it, do it now before it disappears. And if that wasn't enough, every single operator in Rainbow Six Siege is getting a kick-ass new hazmat suit to really get into the zombie virus pandemic theme of Operation Chimera. Once again, I'm your host Alpha Lance, and thanks for watching everything you should know about Operation Chimera. You should be well equipped to handle anything Outbreak throws at you over the next couple of weeks. So good luck operators, and Godspeed. Those zombies aren't going to quarantine themselves. Don't forget to click the bell icon to become part of the notification squad, and if you'd like getting more from your games, subscribe to the leaderboard, your home for video game facts.